I can't stop her from buying cows. Hi, we're Art and Bree. Four years ago, we left the city to buy a 100-year-old farm to turn it into our own productive homestead where we can grow our own food, build a healthy life, and raise our kids just how we like. If you want to join us in our homesteading adventure on our small farm, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. What you doing, Gracie? I, put it, I just was feeding my sourdough starter. Feeding, can I look inside there? Yeah. What does it smell like? It smells like bread. Whose idea was this? Mine. Okay, cool. And do you have to, do you start it with any yeast or did you use a starter or what do you, where's I, the? I just used flour and water. She's doing a wild yeast catch. She learned about it in a magazine and did this all on her own, unbeknownst to me. So she's doing it herself. Okay. How do you know, sure. So good. How do you know you get good, um, <laughs> <laughs> how do you know you get the right yeast? I don't know. You don't till you make the bread and see how your starter works, right? Mm -hmm. I actually don't make sourdough at all, ever. Never made it. So it's, I love that she's doing it. I, that was the first attempt because I tried before, but then I forgot about it. We can do laundry whenever we want uh, to. What are you guys singing about? <laughs> We're not doing the new, their new cabin, the new rental house. We're just so excited. We in two weeks, we're moving into a rental house. And every time I get frustrated in the cabin with, in the camper with um, just space frustrations, and trust me, there's many of them. I've been counting on the days. Because I think like, if you don't live in a camper with seven people, you don't necessarily realize like, all the things that come up. I can only make like two loaves of bread at a time, I'm able to make four or six, or I can only make this size roast at a time and so it's like I can only make one meal at a time which sounds like such a first world complaint but when you have a big family it's nice to be able to make double of everything so you're not always having to cook but you can you have meals for other days or I can make a big meal that lasts a couple days counter space laundry space homeschool space cooking space baby we're gonna have so shooting on the little camera so if the audio sounds bad it's because I broke my big normal camera the other day when I was trying to level our freezer but we do insure our cameras and so it's not the end of the world and we've only had to use that insurance like three times I think in four years of filming almost every day and I actually broke it on my head I still have a knot This brand new freezer has actually gone out on us twice. I actually don't think there's anything wrong with it or I would have had, you know, gone through official routes to fix it. So I pulled the back panel off and the fan, the way it's sitting on the uneven barn floor is just slightly buzzing the frame. I'm gonna set it up on blocks on the corners. I have a knot on my head and I'm not even sure if I'm filming because that's my um, screen. And as you can see, there's nothing on it. The good news is the freezer is now working and it's full of meat again. I can't stop her from buying cows. And <laughs> it's, that's a funny thing, oh, wrong freezer. <laughs> this, is the, this is the freezer that wasn't working. Stuff full of tomatoes from the garden. And then this is the meat that Bree just bought. She bought half a cow and she bought it on the hoof and basically split it with someone and then we picked it up from the butcher shop. We've raised a big chunk of our own beef the past couple years, but Brianna always stays one step ahead. And you know, if I was in charge, I look in the freezer and see there's a 
cut a lot of meat in the freezer. We've got a steer out in the pasture. I think we're good, but she knows exactly how much we eat. And so when she looks in the freezer, she sees, oh, we're gonna run out in a couple months. And the steer won't be ready to butcher for a while. I guess part of the difference is maybe I was thinking of eating the bull. As soon as we find out if the cow is confirmed pregnant, we're gonna, the bull's gonna be moving along. About to jump into the house, I just saw something that is really frustrating. They, on the, they just delivered this dumpster a little while ago, switched out for a full one, and he, he put it like eight feet from the deck. Ugh, oh well. Okay, I'm back in the house. First thing, I've gotta clear out stuff I tore down the other day before I can bust out any new wood in these walls. It's a mummified rat. He's crunchy. Yep, and then here's a mummified mouse. He's beyond crunchy. Crumbly. I don't think we need to keep those. So, among other things, this mask is protecting me from mouse mummy dust and rat mummy dust. I appreciate that. I don't want to breathe that. Okay, next I'm taking on a big fun job, and that is taking out this whole brick spot that a wood stove sat. We're not going to have a wood stove in this part of the house because it, it needs to be central. This room would be 90 degrees, and the rest of the house would be really cold, so or we're going to have a wood stove in the end, but it's going to be in the largest room of the house. So I'm actually going to plant on a fire pit, put them out that window. Bree and the kids got to go on a hike today. It is an incredible fall day outside. And I'm so happy for them. I'm glad I'm here though because I'm just loving making daily and al or almost daily progress on moving this forward and I know if I keep doing that no matter how little I do in a day that I'll get through this really ugly part of this job and then on some of the later parts of the job I'll be pulling people in. Uh, we skipped school today because it's too glorious. Look at this view. We are going hiking instead of doing school today, and that is the glory of homeschooling. So today is science and nature study. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how much my big kids are gonna be in this because they've already taken off down the path. So it was a long drive, a short hike, and it's epic. <laughs> it's a seashell. It's not, let me see, it's not a seashell. I think it's a millipede. Okay. I have 
have to admit, I made a big mess. I'm not sure if I can get all this cleared out by this evening, but it was sure fun making this mess. Here's the junk. There's still a foundation right there I have to bust out. And then here's the keepers. Do you see what I see? I see like a little garden patio or a, the, a ring, a big ring fire pit. Home sweet home from a wonderful day of adventuring. This is just the perfect time of year to adventure because it's not so hot and everything's beautiful and feels good and smells good. It's just lovely. Fall is like spring for me, except I like spring better to be honest, but I do love fall. I'm gonna walk up here and see what Arthur has been up to all day. You guys already know. Hey honey. How's, how's it going? Wow, it smells so strong. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna go make dinner. Okay. All right, love you. It's looking amazing. You're doing a great job. It's hard work. It's hard work. All right, I love you. Love you. Bye. That's about all the interaction you guys are going to get from us because he's in his ET suit and doesn't want to stop working just yet. What is this I see? That's interesting. I came over here to just get a look at the pasture and the beautiful evening light. And I'm noticing that our bull is like super into our cow today, which she should not be in heat. Plus she's been with him for now. Two cycles, she should be bred. Anyway, maybe he's just interested in her because she's a cow. Bulls do funny things. She was peeing and he was into it. Most of that's gone. There's still some more busting to do and this foundation. I don't think, I think this goes to the ground, but I'll find out soon. But first I'm gonna clear away these good bricks. They're going straight out that window because eventually, well, they'll either go under the house which I don't think we'll need them down there, but we might. Or they'll go in a fire pit there. So I need to get them out of the way, which would be probably, I'll stack them along the fence. Okay, I'm stacking them because it's easy to get five out that window. And yes, some of them might break, but I'm not babying them because I'm prioritizing my time. I am wasting time, wasting time saving them. But you get the point. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 170. We were able to save 170, but the rest got destroyed. And I'm pretty happy with that. It was, I think we saved more than half out of this thing. Um, all right, enough talk. Okay, I'm done for now. I left the mess here. Hey girl, it was late supper, huh? Yeah. Y'all had an adventure, huh? We did, so we're just... Yeah, go sit down. We're just having quick pasta for dinner. Yes, I'm using jarred pasta. I have an entire freezer full of tomatoes that I'm trying to hold out on processing and canning until we're in our rental house just because it would be easier to get the jars sanitized. I'll actually able be able to get the jars sanitized. I'll have room for a canner. So for now, we are eating store-bought pasta sauce. Guys, thanks a lot for joining us. Thanks to Brie filming. We had a more interesting video. It was not just me mucking around here, <laughs> moving in slow motion in the kitchen. And I just want to say one thing. I think it's super important that we go on adventures with our kids, even if it's a short hike. That hike was only three tenths of a mile, so what was it? Why you got a little over half of a mile round trip. And yeah, it was a drive, but they climbed on rocks, they discovered caves, they found millipedes and bugs and beautiful leaves and saw an epic view that they didn't really care about, but that was for mom. <laughs> so I just want to encourage you guys, go adventuring with your kids wherever you are. You don't have to have epic views. There's so much beauty in this world to explore. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.